today I am going to make a mixed bean burger patty for you all. So let's get into the kitchen and get this burger patty cracking. It is very delicious, very enjoyable and very healthy. Not because we have to be on quarantine, we have to eat unhealthy. So come on, crack out of that unhealthy eating right now. This is no excuse. Let's get back to business. Let's go. Almond flour, salt, garlic, parsley, onion, pimento, paprika, pepper flakes. One more thing. We are not going to use any modernized kitchen utensils to make this. No blender, no fruit processor, anything. We are going to use a mortar and a pestle after we have softened our mixed beans. And we are going to make it from there with that. No modernized kitchen utensils. So come on, let's get started. I'm going to wash my beans and remove any stone. There are some beans in this that is much more harder than some beans. So you want to make sure your beans is properly cooked. I am not going to over put water just enough to cover it. So once my beans is cooked, all the beans is cooked, not just some. We're going to continue, but before we finish, click the bell for new videos. I'm placing my beans into my mortar and I'm going to crush them until I get the consistency that I like. And what I like, I don't like it too mushy, but what I like, I like to have my beans with a little bite to them when I am making my patties. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not gonna make it too mushy, but more with a bite. But before we continue. <laughs> now I have the consistency that I want. Let me just show you, there is some form of beans in there you can see that it's not too mushy and I have placed all of the ingredients salt the pimento the paprika the pepper flakes parsley and I grated the onion so I'm going to mix everything together make sure it's properly well incorporated and then I'm going to taste it to see if it have enough salt because you don't want this too salty and once everything is incorporated properly then I am going to add my flour all right, so I'm adding some more onion. I really wanted some more onion to give that nice oniony taste to my burgers. So mixing it properly, then I'm going to add my flour. And I am adding like one fourth of a cup of flour. It all depends on how soft you like your burgers or if you want it a little more solid. I don't want it too runny or too soft, but just right. And that amount of flour was just good for me. So I am going to flatten this mixture and I am going to cut to the size that I want. And then we are going to continue from there. I am done cutting out the patties and I'm going to remove it and put them on a separate plate. So I'm just going to make four today and the rest I'm going to put away for another day. And this is the thickness. Now let me just say before I make this burger, I would flatten it out a little because I don't like my burgers too thick especially these types of burgers too thick I like them as thin as possible so they could be real crispy on the outside and have a nice texture on the inside so this is it when it's now cut and then I'm going to flatten before I fry so now I'm going to place them on a plate and continue to remove the others as I said all together I am making four and the rest I am going to put away in the refrigerator for another day. 
So now let's get into cooking this. But before we get into it, I want to show you, you can see every bit of the ingredients ingredients throughout this burger patty. All the parsley, the onions and the pepper. Oh my gosh, it was so properly well distributed. It's not even funny. Now my hot plate is ready. And I'm going to place my patty onto my hot plate. Make sure it is really hot and nice, okay? As I said, remember this means it's already cooked. So you're not trying to cook this. And as you can see, some are thin and some are really fat. As I said, I do not like my burgers really thick, but I'm just showing you the difference. If you flatten them versus if you leave it thick, you can do it any which way you please, and they hold up real well. So I'm going to make a sada roti for this, and I just cut it in a circular shape, and I am going to place, this is a whole wheat sada roti I made, by the way. I'm going to place my burger in this. And I'm just going to dress it with some mayonnaise, some ketchup, and some fresh pineapple that I got from the market this morning. I'm just showing you without anything in it. So this is the fresh pineapple. So I'm going to remove the pineapple and place it into my sandwich. So let's see about this pineapple now. Okay, so I already had a ketchup and a little bit of mayonnaise. This is a light mayonnaise. I'm placing my pineapple, and that's how I'm going to have this vegan burger. And this is what it looks like. Oh, when I tell you this thing, it was so good. That crunch on the outside and that nice texture on the inside, full of flavor with all the seasoning. And remember, you don't have to cook it too long, just until you get that nice crunch, if that is what you like, but just to give that nice charness on the outside as you can clearly see in the photos ladies and gentlemen this was a real real delicious burger thanks so much for taking the time for, and watching this video all right, all right, all right. welcome welcome to another episode of chocolate and chicha